Cradle of Filth. You want the credibility of saying you listen to black metal, but you literally choose to listen to black metal if it was watered down, left out to age in the sun, and then got spoon-fed to a group of kindergartners. Pantera. Dimebag Daryl could have played the most basic dime a dozen 4-4 downtuned guitar riff and you would still come in your pants. Be honest here. Breaking Benjamin. They have made six albums that sound the absolute fucking same and you will still slam your credit card down every time to eat that shit up like it's a hundred dollar steak. Dream Theater. How's it feel to be the most pretentious cunt in the room? Also, Mike Portnoy is not the greatest drummer to ever live, so stop acting like he is. Bring me the horizon. You're either a mosh-friendly jock, a devious emo girl, or a scene kid that just never grew up. Either way, it's been 17 fucking years since Count Your Blessings. Stop drinking the copium. They're not going to be a deathcore band again. Danzig. If you're a woman, you have had fantasies of Glenn Danzig. If you're a man, you have had a severe mental crisis once or twice over whether or not you want to be Glenn Danzig or be with Glenn Danzig. Job for a cowboy. Isn't it impressive that a group of rowdy dudes can make a 7-track EP in 2005 that deathcore purists are still salivating at the thought of sucking the dick of? I would think that if you would ever learn how to shut the ever-living fuck up about it. Emperor. You will die on the hill of In the Nightside Eclipse being the best black metal record ever made, and you need to stop doing that. Like, badly. Tool. How's it feel to be the guy standing in the corner of every single party that no one wants to talk to? ACDC. You either like them because your duster boomer dad likes them, you heard them in a Toyota commercial, or the opening credits of a blockbuster movie. Either way, if you're a fan of ACDC, you just completely look past the fact that they wrote the same song 30 times and made an entire career out of playing the same song in a different time signature. But you're too drunk and having too much fun to really care, so good for you. I trust ACDC fans. Lorna Shore. Stop acting like you were cool because you knew Lorna Shore before they were popular. You're not cool. Lorna Shore have always been popular. They're just more popular now. Also, how's Will Ramos's dick feel? Cattle decapitation. You praise the ground Travis Ryan walks on, and fight sweaty neckbeards on the daily about how impressive of a vocalist he is. Slaughter to prevail. You're an alpha man. Ginger. You're an alpha woman. Slice the cake. They released Odyssey to the West, and your cum tribute wall has only been growing ever since. Daughters. You had no idea who these guys were before Anthony Fantano covered them. Fantafaxith. You had no idea who these guys were before Anthony Fantano covered them. Horrendous. You had no idea who these guys were before Anthony Fantano covered them. Born of Osiris. You like to pretend that anything done after the year 2013 just simply doesn't exist in the Born of Osiris discography. Infant Annihilator. You need a girlfriend. Bad. Your diet of plain monster energy, Reddit, and 4chan is not going to do you well, I promise. I'm worried for you. Periphery. If Gent had an alignment test for most pretentious, you would rank concerningly high. Dark Throne. You still have wet dreams nightly over the same three albums of Baby's first black metal. See you, Space Cowboy. Connie Scarbosa has made you question your sexuality regardless of what gender you are. Asking Alexandria. You go specifically out of your way to listen to every single new Asking Alexandria song, knowing you will not enjoy it, only to write a lengthy comment no one is going to read or care about, complaining about how they sold out. Either that, or you're one of the chill ones that still respects Danny as a vocalist. Nails! The favorite grindcore band of the person who has never heard a single other fucking grindcore band in their life. Motionless and White. They could rip off Marilyn Manson, Breaking Benjamin, every alternative metal band of the 2000s, Typo Negative, and him all at once, and you will still find a way to act like they are the most original band to come out of modern metalcore. The Locust. You like to be quirky. Just admit it. You like to be really, really quirky. Mashuga. You probably don't even like Gent and don't know where the hell these teenagers came from claiming that your favorite band invented it. Zeal and Ardor. You like it when your metal is politically charged and different, with a lot of influences in it. Despel Omega. You spend half of your time actually enjoying the music and the other half of your time adamantly fighting back people calling your favorite band Nazis. Judas Priest. You probably think that Screaming for Vengeance and Painkiller are both extremely overrated records, but honestly, Judas Priest fans are pretty chill. Rock on. Cannibal Corpse. 
You're too busy headbanging to realize they've written the same album 15 fucking times. You also really want to go out for a beer with Corpse Grinder. Liturgy. You may not agree with Hunter Hunt Hendrix's beliefs, but you are downright fascinated by her. Plus, you love pissing off the hordes of sweat goblins that say they hate Liturgy because it's popular. You also probably liked Liturgy long before Anthony Fantano covered them, because you're more underground than people give you credit for. Death. You love starting civil wars and good positive fun with other death fans of what the best death album is, Portal. You like death metal, but you really want to feel special. Opeth. You're lucky because your favorite band can never decide what genre they want to be, so depending on your mood, you can listen to an entire run-through of the metal subgenres all in one band. Ghost. You pretend you don't see all the scandals, dramas, lineup changes, and background shit of Ghost because their music is too damn catchy to not listen to. Zaster. You are the living embodiment of the I'm not like other guys or girls type of guy or girl. Napalm Death. You're segregated into one of the cattle cages, depending on which era of Napalm Death you enjoy. You also know that Barney Greenway is one of the best metal vocalists, even if people fight you about it. Dragon Force. You played Guitar Hero, didn't you? Amon Amarth. You like fantasy and get lost in the concept of bands. You also like themed music and specifically love the mythos of them and their concept albums. Summoning. You also like fantasy, but you specifically like The Lord of the Rings. You also play Dungeons and Dragons on the weekends. You probably also like Wyatt XM. Converge. You like your metalcore heavy and experimental. Burzum. If anyone disrespects Varg Vakenis, you turn into his attack pit bull and ravage their corpses until your lord and savior comes down and burns the corpse like the churches you hate. Arch Enemy. The favorite band of the incel metalhead who wants to point at a band and say, See? I don't hate women. I love women. See? Behemoth. You don't mind black metal to be well produced because you appreciate good sound engineering in black metal and think Behemoth sound great with it. Nightwish. The exception to the rule for people who usually hate symphonic metal and folk metal. Chances are, even if they are your favorite band, you're still not the biggest fan of the genre. You just really like Nightwish and don't care enough to look at the rest. Anthrax. You want to be different. You're a fucking contrarian. Admit it. Also, you're wrong. The Dillinger Escape Plan. You like your metal to be very, very much precise, and I can also predict that this band was likely the extreme gateway drug into mathcore for you. Death Heaven. You want to look like the cool person who listens to black metal, but would cry the second you hear Distortion or a lo-fi recorded black metal record. You listened to Sunbather once and proclaimed yourself a black metal fan from that day forward. I'll say. You are the cooler version of a Death Heaven fan in every single way. You're just pretty cool. Not much to say here. Megadeth. You think Metallica are overrated. Metallica. You think Megadeth are overrated. Plus, you will say the most lukewarm takes about Metallica like they are the hottest takes ever and act like you are changing the world. Slipknot. You would pay money to be a singular sweat molecule on Corey Taylor's forehead. You also get abnormally triggered when they are called new Metal. Gorgoroth. You hate Christianity and organized religion in general more than your average black metal fan. Audio Slave. You think Soundgarden is overrated. Soundgarden. You think Audio Slave is underrated. Rage Against the Machine. You think that them being back together doesn't mean much because they're old and their message just won't hit the same. Also, how's it feel to loot bulls on parade like your national anthem? My Chemical Romance. The first thought that entered your mind when they reunited was, oh, shit, lovely. I wonder how my childhood is going to get fucked up now. Veil of Maya. You're either a new fan that hates their deathcore era, or you're an old fan that hates their metalcore era. Pick your poison. Architects. You are closing your eyes really, really hard and regularly telling yourself that if you wish hard enough, their most recent two albums just simply will cease to exist. Kill Switch Engage. The favorite metalcore band of the person who doesn't usually like metalcore. As I Lay Dying. You will justify Tim Lambesis' actions to your grave and back, just for the sake of getting to hear more As I Lay Dying riffs. Lamb of God, please, for the love of God, get Randy Bly's dick out of your mouth, you're gonna choke. Also, please stop praising this band so much like they're not anything short of a poor man's dollar store Pantera. Thank you. Bathory, you think this band created black metal and detest Venom. Venom, you think this band created black metal and detest Bathory. Five Finger Death Punch. You like wife beaters and Bud Light, don't you? 
You're also either a veteran or someone that likes to sit back in a chair and pretend like you can sympathize with veterans while you're half stoned out of your mind. System of a Down. You like to pretend that you're different and edgy for liking one of the most popular heavy metal bands to ever exist. Korn. You really like to pretend that their dubstep era never existed. You're also stuck in the 1990s. Nine Inch Nails. Are you doing okay in there? You've been drawing on the walls a lot. There are empty pill bottles outside your door and used needles. And I haven't seen a light on in a week. I'm worried about you. Slayer. You don't listen to them for their vocals, their lyrics, or even the band themselves. You simply consume their solos like crack cocaine. You also cracked open a cold one and weeped when they announced their retirement. I promise you that your tears will not make their arthritis go away. Rammstein. You think you're hot shit, but have not been anywhere near a woman's breast since you got stood up at prom. You also probably aren't even German, and no matter how many times you drunkenly sing Du Hast at karaoke night, you will never sing it fluently. I'm sorry. Black Sabbath. You think Ozzy will never die, and you stick to that story. And if you're a hipster, you think the Dio era of Black Sabbath was their best. Avenge Sevenfold. You were raised on PewDiePie, horrible quality Call of Duty tutorials, and skateboards. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, feel free to drop a like, comment down below what your favorite one was, and if you would like to see another part to this video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel here, and feel free to share it around if you think it was funny. I'll talk to you guys next time though, but until then, my name is Jay Morris, and I'm signing off saying fare well.